Why, oh why, do we care so much about embodied carbon? I mean, sure, it, it emits a bunch of carbon, but you know, so does the running of a building. So kind of what does it matter? Well, it matters a lot because we've gotten pretty good at really reducing the amount of operational carbon in a building during its life. It used to be the case that the operational carbon of a building vastly eclipsed the embodied carbon of a building because we were building really inefficient buildings. They were drafty. Uh, they were super energy intensive. They just required a lot of operational carbon in order to stay habitable, which meant that over the 60, 100 year life of the building, the operational carbon just dwarfed the embodied carbon of construction. But nowadays, as we start building better and better buildings, more airtight, more energy efficient, heck, net zero is even becoming almost standardized. Now the operational carbon is becoming a tiny piece of the puzzle compared to the massive mountain of embodied carbon that those buildings are built on. So now if you're looking at the lifetime impact of a building, the embodied carbon is starting to become the majority of it in a lot of cases. So we gotta get the embodied carbon under control because we've pretty much figured out the operational. Now we gotta deal with the embodied and make sure that the whole picture of the buildings that we're building are being done as responsibly as possible.